Tony, good morning. Good morning, guys. Now, what's right, the story? So when I was in Nepal, when I first met my wife, oh. I actually had a piercing in uh, my manhood, a Prince Albert piercing, and it was nice. a ring. He's got the rod. Oh, you and got the, the rod or the ring? Ring. I had, I had the ring. Right. And the gotcha. first time I had. actually put it into action, it actually cheese wired oh. and sent me a long split into the oh. uh, tip of my manhood. Ha! Oh. No. Uh, because I was in Nepal at the time, I had to go to a really, really filthy third world hospital where none of the doctors spoke listen. English. And I had I can't two listen. stitches in the tip of my uh, manhood. Oh. The weirdest thing was that they didn't use any anaesthetic when they did it. God. And when, when, when they actually did it, they didn't stitch it together. They stitched it apart. Oh. So obviously I'm, I'm panicking, thinking like, why have they not stitched it back together? But when oh. I spoke to the health insurance people, they says, oh, it's because when the scar tissue forms, if they don't stitch it apart, it could block the urethra. So they've done it right. But I had three or four days of panicking, thinking, oh, my God, I'm going to end up with this permanent centimetre long tear in the end of my life. No. <laughs> Yeah, it was pretty awful. Oh, my God. Never mind that. Every time you go to the toilet, it'd be like oh. setting off a fire sprinkler. <laughs> <laughs>